Hi everyone, I'll be talking about our work on integrating egocentric localization for more realistic point goal navigation agents. This work was done with my collaborators at Georgia Tech, FAIR and Oregon State University and forms the basis of our submission to the point nav track of the Habitat Challenge. Several approaches have been proposed in the past that perform end-to-end -end learning of policies for target-driven navigation using RL from scratch. Typically, these approaches directly learn to map from pixels to actions at every step. We leverage such a recent approach that trains recurrent policies for point nav. At a high level, the LSTM-based policy takes the previous action, visual observations at the current state, the episode goal coordinates as per the point nav task specification, and the agent's ground truth pose in the trajectory as input, and it generates a distribution over a discrete action space as its output at every step. Prior work has shown that large-scale RL training of such architectures enables agents to perform point nav with near-perfect accuracies and by following near-shortest paths, effectively solving the task. However, an important caveat to note here is that this approach assumes perfect localization via an idealized GPS and compass sensor, which we know is impractical to realize in indoor environments in the real world. Therefore, for the point map track of the Habitat Challenge this year, we propose to leverage such an architecture and training paradigm and adapt it to work in the absence of ground truth localization input from the environment and under the configuration settings of the challenge. Towards that end, we remove the Oracle localization from the input and replace it with the agent's estimate of its own location in the trajectory. We do that by equipping the agent with a visual odometry module that is responsible for predicting per step ego motion estimates. Access to such an odometer allows the agent to cumulatively integrate its localization estimates over the course of its trajectory and hence derive a potentially erroneous substitute for the Oracle localization supervision. Let's take a closer look at the visual odometry model. Our odometer comprises of a ResNet 18 based visual encoder that's followed by a task specific regression head. The model takes a pair of visual observations in our case depth maps as inputs and regresses to the relative post change between the two agent states defined by the input observations. To train our odometry model, we require a dataset comprising of visual observation pairs and ground truth ego motion. In order to collect this dataset, we take an agent that can navigate reasonably well and use the agent's policy to unroll trajectories from the Gibson train split. Then we randomly sample points from within those trajectories and record the RGBD maps, action taken by the agent, and the ground truth ego motion regression targets for training our odometer. Following this protocol, we collect a data set of 72K observation pairs sampled from 8.7K episodes across 72 scenes in the Gibson train split. We train our odometer on this data set using a smooth L1 regression loss. Once pre-trained, our odometer is kept frozen and used with the agent's policy for navigation. We now take a look at some quantitative results. As a competitive baseline, we compare against an approach called dead reckoning. Dead Reckoning derives ego motion estimates via a static lookup table mapping actions to odometry estimates and does not involve any learning for estimating odometry. We present results for our approach under two settings. In the first setting, during evaluation, we take our pre-trained odometry model and pair it with an agent policy that's trained with ground to GPS and compass. Note that in this setting, the policy has been trained with Oracle localization, but has to work with the noisy localization estimates derived via our odometer during evaluation. In the second setting, we additionally fine tune the agent policy during training to adapt to our noisy egocentric localization estimates. We observe that learning based estimates of localization outperform dead reckoning baselines, and also that fine tuning of policies with our noisy pose estimates leads to further gains in performance. We show some sample navigation trajectories of our proposed agent from the VAL split. The green line shows the shortest part be between the agent spawn location and the target. The line in dark blue corresponds to the actual path taken by the agent and the light blue line represents the agent's predictions of its location. We see evidence of a drift problem where over the course of the agents, over the course of time, the agent's integrated pose estimates deviate from its actual pose, thereby causing the agent to incorrectly call stop right outside the success perimeter. To mitigate this, we apply a heuristic-based hack for the purposes of the challenge where we force the agent to execute a move forward action once the policy has stopped, predicted stop before terminating the episode. We notice that this last mile push, uh, the agent succeeds more often and also ends up closer to the target on an average. So to summarize, uh, we propose point goal navigation agents that are equipped with the dormitory modules that estimate ego motion from visual observations, allowing the agents to navigate in the absence of uh, ground truth GPS and compass. Our best performing agent is ranked number two on the test standard leaderboard with respect to SPL and success, and number one with respect to soft SPL and distance to goal. Thank you.